Here's how I built one of the rarest Lego Star Wars sets ever, the Lucas Yoda Fountain. Run. Star Wars is one of, if not the largest media property in the entirety of the world, and Lego Star Wars to Lego is definitely one of the biggest and most popular themes they've ever, ever, ever done. It also, however, is a completionist nightmare. If you wanna have every single piece of Lego Star Wars history ever, you are gonna spend millions of dollars and probably never complete it just because there are so many different rare little factors, some of which were given away at Star Wars Celebration, some of which are just like promotional items, and some of which are only given to Lucasfilm employees, which is the case with one of the newest additions to the rarest items of Lego Star Wars collection, the Lucas Yoda Fountain. As for May the 4th, 2023, the staff at Lucasfilm were given an exclusive Lego set. Now, what makes this so exclusive? Honestly, probably just the instruction manual and the packaging. I don't actually think anything inside it is exclusive, but despite the fact, I mean, technically it is a Lego Star Wars set and is a rare property, so much so that none of them have hit eBay, and I honestly don't know if they ever will. Now, I have actually visited the real life Yoda fountain outside of Lucasfilm in San Francisco, California, and it's really, really, really cool. I went with my friend Nikki a couple of months ago and it was an absolute blast. I had a great time, it was really cool, and for me, this set honestly would be kind of a memory. Now, I initially thought it was a mock at first and was excited that I could build my own version, and then I realized it was an official set. However, thanks to my new best friend Chris, it does look like actually you can make this set just using regular old Lego pieces. Now, best friend Chris, here showed the first ever proper picture of the Lego Yoda fountain set all built up. Now, there are a couple of things that I kind of question about it. Firstly, it doesn't exactly match the picture on the instructions, but it gave us our first look at what the set's supposed to be, which firstly confirmed that there is no exclusive Yoda in this set, which is actually, you know, a pretty good thing if, like me, you don't like spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on just like rare variants of minifigures. Alternatively, if you're a really hardcore Star Wars collector, you're probably be mad at the fact, especially if you spend thousands of dollars on obtaining this item. And when I saw this image earlier today, I took it upon myself to take on the task of actually building the Lego Yoda fountain in real life. Now, the only issue with that is that we don't have any instructions at all and very, very few images. The only evidence of this set even existing online are basically a photo of what could be an instruction manual and two photos of this built in real life as my other bestie decided to upload a photo too. So using these three images, I tried my best to replicate this fountain spot on. Do or do not, there is no try. Step one the base. First things first, I needed to figure out how big this model was actually going to be. However, thanks to the water pieces, it was actually really easy to work out this entire thing was 12 studs by 12 studs. So I grabbed all of the appropriate tiles in order to finish off the top and then quickly went and found some plates in order to create the base for the model. Unfortunately, I didn't have the correct brick dimensions for a couple of these pieces, so I had to improvise a little bit with the plates for the base as well as the bricks to actually make the border of the fountain at the bottom, but overall it was pretty simple and it still felt relatively strong when all assembled together. Once that base was done, I quickly realized that the biggest problem I was gonna have in actually trying to replicate this fountain was the fact that I didn't have enough of these water one by one translucent tile pieces. So I tried to piece together all the parts that I knew I had, like the round one by ones and some of the cheese slopes and even some of the plates and just kind of map that out there. Step two was to build the fountain, which firstly I started off with building the top half of it because majority of it just seemed really simple and easy to view as well from the few images we got. I grabbed two wedge pieces, a bunch of plates, a couple of tiles, as well as these little clips, and then assembled them all together. However, when looking at the images of the Yoda fountain all built up, I did actually realize that it was twisted a little bit at the top, which meant I also needed to get a jumper plate in order to make this entire top section where Yoda is. Now that I had completed the top, it was time to go back down to the bottom. So one thing that I noticed from looking at this image is that it was actually two plates high on top of the base itself, which meant I needed four of these wedge pieces as well as four of these smaller wedge pieces. Once that was done, it was time to do this entire middle section. When you zoom in really closely on the images of the Yoda statue in real life, you can see a tiny strip of color breaking through where the bricks join. And it's the little details like this that I did not want to miss. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have as many inverted slopes as I initially thought because they were all tied up in my Hobbit mock. So really we were looking a bit um, plain 
seen in, in this front. I knew I would have to go and hunt them down later because I wanted to have enough to at least replicate the front half of the fountain and then I could just buy more pieces to do the back half later. I combined everything together and then it was time to actually get started on creating some of the water that I was actually able to. So now that the entire build was pretty much done, the one thing I really needed to do was go and find all of the missing pieces and color swaps that I needed to do. So I quickly pulled up Bricklink and did a little bit of research and was able to narrow down a couple of sets where these pieces were located, one of which included this Tony Stark advent calendar build and another included this Triwizard Tournament Cup. In order to swap out the last few colors that I needed in the dark bluish gray though, I did actually have to go and source through this Ninjago bucket. So it was time to put all of the color swaps in place and really tie this whole fountain together. And that is when I realized I am missing the most important part of this fountain, my Yoda minifigure. So I quickly ran over to the shelf and nicked him from the Dagobah Jedi training. And lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to complete our beautiful Lucas Yoda fountain with the crowning duel, Yoda himself. This is really a magical moment and a day that I just never thought I would see coming. I am so grateful to be a part of this experience and to really see, how hold on a minute, I forgot to add the legs, never mind. They were featured in this giant Rivendell set, um, but honestly, getting them off Dobby is cheaper. So I ran to my Harry Potter minifigure collection and quickly scouted out Dobby so that I could rip his legs off and kindly give them over to Yoda. And now finally, we have a much more accurate looking Yoda fountain build. Overall, I think this link looks fantastic. The only real issue I have is the lack of water. So I decided to just pour in a bunch of studs for my own version of it, but also it adds some water texture and I think would just look far more accurate to an actual fountain and less bland if you ask me. If you can do it for a bonsai tree or a ship in a bottle I see no issue just having a bunch of loose studs kind of sat there. I think it works really well and makes me feel a little bit better about my mock building skills here. And that is the entire Yoda fountain all built up. It is a very small model, it is a very cute model and it is luckily one that is really really easy to replicate if you do not have the instructions or let alone most of the pieces. It's small enough that you could buy all of these pieces individually Individually and make your own just like I did. And I am really, really glad I did given that the Yoda fountain is something that I have seen and visited in person. And also it's just really cool. Size matters not. Now, as far as I'm aware, there haven't actually been any official instructions of this mock posted. And from the stuff I could tell, they were all glaringly inaccurate as well. However, when I put mine into an instruction builder and actually built this model digitally, um, the piece count didn't match the one that was on the box. I ended up having 141 pieces in this build, I guess, officially, if this build was proper and not just filled with studs. The instruction manual has 150. Where those nine pieces are, I don't know. However, this fountain looks incredibly accurate to me. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I wouldn't change it for the world and I saved myself a lot of money because who knows when these things are gonna pop up on eBay and also how much some diehard collector is willing to pay for them. I would like to take this moment to again thank my new best friends on Twitter for posting photos of their actual official Lucasfilm little products. I really hope that they didn't throw any of the exclusive stuff away that makes this set so valuable. I'm very, very glad with my little model here. I will leave the instructions linked in the description down below if you wanna build it for yourself. I highly suggest it. He's really, really, really cute. And if you ever get the chance to go to San Francisco, I highly recommend checking out the Yoda Fountain in real life and also going into the Lucasfilm lobby if it's open. It's a really, really cool thing. I didn't know you could do it until I got there. It was a great time. I highly recommend it to anyone. And if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my instructions, please give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.